Oh, very well. So here we have wish plus simple past. So we're going to see the rules for wish. Uh, I wish I were rich. Okay, so the reality is I am not. Okay, so I am not rich. Okay, but I want to be rich, right? But I'm not. That's the reality. So let's uh, put here is my reality is, okay, so that's my reality. I am not rich. This is my reality, but I wish I were rich. So this is, you can say, you can also say, I wish I was, right? The best form is, uh, the formal way is to use were here, right? It's the plural form of the past, of the simple past of to be. I wish I were instead of I wish I was, but that's okay if you say I wish I was rich, but I'm not, unfortunately. Well, uh, here we have another example. It's the same thing. Uh, I, uh, I don't have a BMW, okay? I wish I had a BMW. I don't I don't have a BMW, a BMW car, right? But that's my that's my dream. So I but I don't have that's my reality. But I wish I had. So had goes in the simple past, okay? Simple past form of the verb have. Okay, simple past. Don't forget this. All right. So I don't have a BMW. Now here I cannot fly. So my reality is I can't fly. Okay, so let's put it here. So it's impossible for me, but I wish I could fly, but I can't, right? So next one is a wish plus past perfect. So wish plus past perfect is used when you, uh, when you wanna talk about regrets. Okay, so regrets. Okay, regrets is when you do something and then you regret because the experience was not good. So, um, but for example, I didn't go to the beach and it was a beautiful day. All my friends uh, went to the beach. So I say, oh, I didn't go. It's like this. I didn't go to the beach. Okay. So I didn't go to the beach. All right. And um, so that's that's a problem because I wanted to go, but I didn't and I regret. So in the next day, I say I wish I had gone to the beach because my friends were there. It was a beautiful day and they had a wonderful time, but I didn't go. Well, then another situation. I wish I hadn't bought these shoes. These shoes, so I bought the shoes because they were on a promotion. And I bought the shoes, but I didn't like them. So I I didn't like the shoes. Okay. I didn't like and they are not good. So I didn't like the shoes. So um, now I don't have money. So I wish I hadn't bought these shoes because they were very bad. I will never use them, but I bought them. Another situation I I had made, I wish I had made hotel reservations. So I went, I traveled, right? I traveled and I couldn't find hotel reservations. So, um, and then I wish I had made, because if I had made hotel reservations, I could have uh, found a place to stay. So, but I didn't, so it's my regret. You see, uh, remember you have to use, this is the past perfect, okay? Perfect. Well, it's had plus the verb in the past participle form. Had plus the verb in the past participle form. Had plus the verb in the past participle form. Very well. So wish plus would. 
is when you expect somebody to stop what they are doing. So um, she is singing and terrible, right? So she uh, is singing and it's very bad. So it's, um, it's very bad, yes. Like, okay, let's put it here. So she is singing and it's very bad. And I wish she would stop singing. I will not tell her to stop, but I wish she would stop. So I, I expect her to stop in the future or in 10 minutes, okay? Because I don't want to listen to her singing. So I wish she would stop singing. And more, uh, like he is not patient. And this is very bad. This is uh, irritating for me. So I wish he would be more patient in the future. So I cannot make him be patient. So I wish he would be more patient. So I expect, okay? So I expect him to change in the future. So when you expect somebody or something to change in the future, you use would plus the verb in the present, in the infinitive form without to, right? She would stop singing. I wish he would be more patient. I wish they would study more. So they don't study, but I wish they would study more in the future because it's good for them, right? So here, Another uh, wish rule, when you congratulate somebody, wish plus somebody plus something. So uh, it's for congratulations. So let's put here, it's for congratulations. Let's put a yellow color here. So let's put congrats, right? Congratulations, right? Let's put it complete. It's a big word. Okay, congratulations. And I wish you is somebody, so it's in the same color here as somebody, right? I wish you something, so which is a happy birthday. So I wish you a happy birthday. And um, here we wish you a Merry Christmas. You know that song, we wish you a Merry Christmas, yes. So we wish you somebody or we wish them a Merry Christmas. And I wish them the best vacation ever. So wish followed by somebody, followed by something. Something is the congratulation, right? So, uh, well, uh, here we go for the next one. Wish plus infinitive is when you want something, but in a formal way. Like I wish to see them tomorrow. So um, it's like I want I want to see them tomorrow, but you can say, I wish to see them tomorrow. I wish to know the truth. So I want to know the truth. You can translate this just as want, okay? So I want to know the truth. And then here again, I wish to finish my exams as soon as possible. So I want to finish my exams as soon as possible. It's more like a formal way of saying that you want something, I wish, so you desire, right? You want to, you want to do this. Well, very well. Thanks for watching. Well, see you guys.